Notion has finally introduced the chart block, and honestly, they look pretty amazing. Right now, the charts are in beta testing, but if you have a plus membership or above, you will be able to access the chart block when they are fully released. Currently, there are three different chart types, and we're gonna go through all of them, show you what they can do, show you their functionality, show you their limits for right now. So let's get started. First up, we have the donut chart type. This chart basically shows a circle with different sections. And if we hover over each section, we can see the number that makes up that section and also the percentage compared to the whole. It also gives us the total number right in the center and a nice little legend at the bottom. You'll also notice that all the colors in the chart correspond to the tags in the corresponding database. This makes things a whole lot easier when trying to visualize the chart data from your database. To create one of these charts, all you have to do is hit backslash chart and create donut chart. It will ask you what database you would like to link it to. I've chosen the directory and then it will show you all your different options. So inside the donut chart, we have your data and your style options. I'm gonna show our tags, and then you can choose what you want each slice to represent. In this case, I'm gonna say count because I wanted to show how many of these tags exist in this database. We can choose to sort manually by ascending, descending, or low to high or high to low, which is how I have it right now. Our style options are colors. I have it set on auto, which will correspond to the colors of the tags in the original database. You could also set it to colorful, which is very colorful, but not very helpful, unfortunately. And then also single colors, if you're into that monochromatic look. And you can also filter, which is very helpful when you wanna visualize other things. One thing that Notion cannot currently do is create compound charts that have more than one element, unfortunately. I imagine that that will be coming in a future release, but right now we are limited to one data set per chart. So let's move on to the bar chart. Right now I have my database here linked to different age segments. So I have a 20 to 30 group, a 30 to 40, a 40 to 50, a 50 to 60, and a 60 to 70 age group. And my chart represents that data. Let's just go and see what we can do with the bar chart. On our x-axis, I'm going to show the distinct ages. And we're going to group it by the age group, which will give us a nice little legend at the bottom there. And then on our y-axis, I'm going to show the age group itself. I also have this option here to emit zero values which I have checked. If I were to uncheck it, then I would also see my 60 to 70 group, which has no names in it. And then another one that says no age group, which also has no names in it. Again, we have color and other style options. Our group style can be stacked, unstacked, or percentages, which is pretty nice. I have mine on stacked. We can show horizontal or vertical grid lines. We can also show both which is really nice. It also lets us show a legend and data labels. This is true with all the chart blocks so far. Finally, we're gonna to move to the line chart. Unfortunately, again, we are limited to one data set, but there are workarounds that I found are ready to make it more useful. So in here, I have three different sets of data. So right now we have it set to pranks per season. And you can see that the data is reflected here. In season one, there were only eight pranks. In season two, there were 21, and it peaked in season three with 31 before it tapered down into the later seasons. So let's check out our options. On my x-axis, I'm showing the name, which is the season name. And on the y-axis, I'm showing pranks per season. And notice here that when you have a number, you're gonna have a lot of extra options here. So right now I have pranks per season and I'm showing the values. And that's just basically gonna show us the line with the original values and nothing changed. 
I also have a sum, average, minimum, maximum, medium, and then distinct values, which if you are wondering, that only shows the number of entries per each name. So right now, each season only has one entry because the name season one only exists one time, the name season two only exists one time, etc. So we want to stick with the values. The other cool thing that we can do is we can click this cumulative button, which will show our line chart, but it will add each value to its previous value, giving us a nice ascending line that will eventually also show us the total. Really cool stuff. Like I said before, the charts only allow you to display one data set, but you can get around this by using formulas. Here, I have taken the number of pranks per season and divided it by the number of episodes per season to give you the number of pranks per episode. Again, we have different style and color options. I liked purple, it looks good. We have a gradient area option for the line chart, and then we also have the grid line axis name and legend options, like in the other charts. Again, we can filter based on any different metrics that are in our original database. We can change our chart type, we can change all of our values right at once. And that's everything. We've been waiting a long time for this, and it looks great, and the Notion team is really pulling out all the stops this year. So. Stay tuned, and I'm sure there will be another video showcasing the new updates the charts will get in the future. Happy notioning, everyone.